Hi guys, um, so a little update from uh, my last uh, video upload. Uh, things have moved on quite a bit, I think. Um, I haven't sort of been as um, up to date with the blogs as uh, I really should have been. Uh, we're now on the Easter break, uh, the second week, Friday. Uh, we're back to college on the Monday. Um, there's been a couple of hiccups over the holidays. Uh, which has been a bit of a setback, so it's been a bit of a nightmare. Um, well, sort of a nightmare. What's happened is I've been able to do my side. However, the developer I'm dealing with um, has had major internet issues. Uh, there was some roadworks getting done outside his flat. Someone's cut the cables, and he's been phoning up um, as internet provider who's claimed that because it was the company that another company's damaged them that they then have to pay so he's called up that company and it's been a, a big whole hoopla anyway um, he's not had uh, internet since basically uh, the second day of the holidays which theoretically is a Sunday because I finished up on the Friday um, and what's happened is as you can see um, the PSD here um, I've sort of constructed how I'd like the dashboard to look um, just hide the rulers here. I'll try and hide the rulers. Okay, that's not really. Oh, it's a bit slow. Um, there we go. So, I just zoom in here. Scroll to the top. So this is uh, the dashboard. Um, so basically, my project is is sort of um, data analysis uh, and data mining. So what I'm looking to do is obviously data mine um, hundreds of thousands of tweets and pick out um, numbers, so percentages of people feeling emotion based on um, or based towards the political parties. Um, and I'm, I'm going to display that in various ways. So um, Grounded Theory was just the sort of working title. Um, it sort of comes from basically having a large set of um, or basically starting with nothing and then proving um, your theory so um, what I would like to do in the top section so from sort of this top line to roughly this bottom line would be the screen that you'll see when you log on it should take the whole roughly the whole center stage of the screen and anything below that is called below the fold, and that's something you'll need to scroll down to see. So right here, this is based on the emotion disgust. And there's many uh, words that make up the emotion disgust. So when you're searching, you don't just search for the word associated or the, the sole word that disgust. There is a, a chart, um, and there's a few different words that are obviously going there that, that are sort of linked to the word disgust. So... Um, First of all, you'll come on here, you'll have your navigation, which is the eight main emotions. The eight main emotions will be um, evident by the colour, because they'll they all have a sort of colour code. So if I turn off, turn on, well, some of these are not quite ready yet. As you can see, I've obviously really um, worked on uh, Disgust to get that working perfectly. So the image here is just sort of thing, but as you can see, this is sort of light kind of blue background for sadness. Surprise is a, a darker blue um, there. Fear is green. Um, the image was just something I'm working on. I'm not actually going to drop it in. You then have trust, which is a, a lighter green. Um, it's starting to take shape a little more. Uh, joy is yellow. Now you have everything sort of there, um, or the background starting to take shape anyway. So when I start to work in there, the main important thing is, is because it's a user interface, is a sort of um, make sure I nail down one design perfectly, and then it's a case of um, changing the RGB values of most of the things. So where it'll be purple, it'll then be um, green, red, blue, depending on the the emotion. But first of all, you'll have your navigation. Then you'll have your click for live view of emotional tweets. So what I'm going to have here is some sort of Twitter feed. And what this will be doing is we'll be pulling through the tweets that were associated with 
the figures that are here. Um, now obviously you won't get through, this is a rough figure um, from an estimation of the sort of sample that we're taking from. Um, so obviously there's just no way in hell that anybody's going to see um, 600,000 tweets um, or, or look through 600,000 tweets. But if you um, click on this, sort of click to view um, live tweets, you'll be, a slider menu will sort of come down and you'll be presented with various tweets. Okay, and each will be a disgruntled Twitter user feeling disgust. Um, it will tell you the name, the um, actual tweet that was involved, and you'll be able to sort of get a general feeling of the reason why um, their, twi their tweet was scanned and sort of um, put in the disgust category. And that will just sort of be a slider kind of menu. You'll then have um, the number of tweets analysed, which is over 4 million. This number will obviously change depending on the amount of tweets has basically been analysed, um, or the, the, the number or the sample that, that we'll, we, we'll use. We'll obviously want to use the biggest sample possible. The tweets with emotional content is basically um, the database will have to go in and scan everything associated with, with the topic that we're looking for. However, not all the topics will have emotional content. <coughs> Excuse me. So once it scans everything, it will then make sure it doesn't save any tweets that don't have emotional content and only save the ones that do. And then this tells you how many political parties were involved. So in this case, Labour, SNP, Conservatives, Lib Dems and UKIP, which are arguably or basically are the five biggest main parties in Britain. And this has been broken down to the percentage of disgust felt towards each party. Now, I know that these obviously make much more than 100%, um, but it's obviously just for visual purposes just now, and um, when the the user be, the user interface is getting properly built, this will be getting plugged in to, to read the proper proper data, basically. Um, this was a, a sort of little tweet here that I've just dropped in, again, for visual purposes, and it's just a sort of... This can be interchangeable and, um, you know, sort of like a slider or something where um, you basically just have like sort of um, tweets coming through to show um, that, that ranked quite high in a discussed scale. Um, a little word cloud underneath that, which is the top 20 words used um, that was associated with discussed. So again, these will have words that will be coming through. Um, to show you the type of words that were obviously ranked in the discuss scale and the sort of words that, that, that you know that the database has been looking at. And then again below this is um, to show you the actual users, the profile pictures of the users that scored the highest in this discuss scale. So um, 60 is a number that I sort of came up with. I quite liked basically just the depth. Um, so the, the sort of 5 deep and the 12 um, kind of wide, it looks quite even and divided up quite nicely. Um, these have the colour overlays taken off them, um, you can simply just turn them back on um, by activating the colour overlay and that's how they would look in general first and then it's not until you hover over it, so your mouse would come over and um, the colour overlay can come off just so you can get a slightly clearer picture and then as you move on and your, your mouse rolls off it um, it would come off and the colour overlay would go back on and then again it would come back on for the user too and that's just how I kind of quite like that to work um, because with mine in the data you're, you're getting all this information so I felt like it would just be useful to, to sort of use all the pieces of information that, that, that I sort of have not just the tweet but also the profile picture. The image mosaic is a an image that um, because I'm mining, say for instance, I mine a hundred thousand tweets. For every tweet that gets mined, there'll be a profile picture associated with that. So what I wanted to do was um, I quite I've always quite liked the image mosaics that you get, where it's basically an image made up of thousands of other images. Um, so what we had to do. Uh, so, so what I've, I've done for that is obviously built this into the user interface so you can see and what you do is when you're, you're scrolling down and you're reading information 
This little bit just says, and again, this will be interchangeable. David Cameron was a political leader that Twitter users expressed their emotion of disgust to the most. Over 599,320 tweets were scanned and had words that relate to disgust in the emotional scale. Using the profile pictures of those Twitter users, I created an image of David Cameron. You would then click this button. It would then take you to the page that is um, dedicated to the image mosaic, and you would see how the image was sort of constructed and obviously the finished article. And then right at the bottom, we just have a small feedback, which I've been uh, striving. <laughs> Thank God I'm doing this tutorial so I can reread my work. And um, that should be striving. I've been striving to work on a project like this for over four years now. And I have finally managed to achieve my goal of being able to create artwork and an exhibition on data analysis. I encourage you to leave feedback below, positive or negative. Please let me know what you think of my exhibition or what you thought of my exhibition. Um, and in here, it'll just be write your name. An email address would be preferable, uh, that way you know, I could contact you back just to sort of say thank you. Um, but I'll have to put it in there as optional as some people might not want to share the details. And then comments, again, which is, could be positive or negative. But anything obviously is very appreciated, um, just to, to sort of help improve for next time if you like. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, the user interface. So like I says, the developer um, has been out of action because obviously during the day he works in his office and is unable to sort of work on this side project to help me out. And at night, he's not been able to work at night, um, which has been a bit of a, a pain. Um, so last night, I had to go to his house. Uh, we had a kind of sort of lengthy discussion, and I, I, we basically sort of hammered out an agreement, And because I, I had to kind of try and make him promise me that uh, I'll come and collect him tomorrow, and me and him are going to do um, a couple of very late nighters this Saturday and Sunday to pull this together much quicker than um, we would have liked. Um, so hopefully by Monday, everything will be, um, you know, at a much more advanced stage. Like I say, the PSD is ready to go. We just really need to build the actual functionality in it now and get it uploaded to the um, to the web. And that way I can then sort of access it from anywhere. Um, so thanks very much. And we'll hopefully next time, Everything will be looking great.